This looks 20 times better. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. It was at an eight at first, now it's a 10. welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can probably see by the title and especially the thumbnail we are going to be doing a video that is absolutely nothing like a video I've ever done before we are going to be trying on clothes six weeks post-op now if you're new here or if you haven't been keeping up with me previously you may not know that I did recently have a breast reduction I will have a video coming very soon about my experience and answering a lot of you guys questions because there have been a lot of questions and I am gonna get to those I'm not ignoring you guys but I did want to wait till I was a little bit further along in my healing process before I gave you guys answers and also be on the lookout on my Instagram because maybe a few days after this video goes up I will be posting on my story a section where you guys can ask the questions that you want answered in that video so if you don't already follow me on there make sure you do so that you can not only get all your questions answered but also so that you can keep up with me when I'm not here on YouTube but anyways like I said we are going to be doing a six week update a six week try on some pieces that I already had in my closet these are not new items of course they will be linked in the description so in case you guys see something y'all like y'all can go shop but these are all items that I already owned items that I may have worn already but may have not due to how they looked before I got the surgery. Prior to my procedure though, I did go ahead and record some before clips in the pieces that you're gonna see today. And I'm just trying them on before I had my surgery and giving my thoughts on them, saying how I felt about them. You guys are obviously gonna see how they fit. I kind of gave my input on those things and today we are going to be doing the after clips and you guys are gonna see all of those differences. I do wanna also make a note that I recorded plenty of before clips so I have more than enough footage to do a part two to this video if you guys are interested if this video does relatively well or if you guys seem very interested in it I will do a part two you guys just let me know that I'm about to stop talking so we can get into these pieces before we do that though just make sure you get a video a big thumbs up hit the like button and the subscribe and the bell so you never miss when I post a video make sure you add me on my other socials they'll be on the screen intro description let's get right into the video okay y'all so this top right here as you can see it's like a bandeau type of top real simple it's like this ribbed spandex type of material honestly for myself personally before pre-procedure pre-reduction it's given it's given strapless bra <laughs> like I would never wear this as a top I think it's so cute and I'm so excited to be able to now wear tops like this as a top oh my goodness y'all don't even know the way I'm about to act post-op oh my goodness I can't wait to see what this one looks like this is probably one of the ones I'm most excited for not because I'm most excited for the shirt in particular but because I want to see how these bandos and stuff fit after the reduction <laughs> okay so this one looks good I feel like it looks good I'm definitely look a lot smaller in this definitely look a lot and I don't uh, I when I say a lot I mean a lot smaller <laughs> but I'm definitely not mad at it like I don't I'm looking over in my mirror of course I think it looks really good I would definitely feel comfortable and confident wearing something like this out I believe, girl, ain't no telling what I be saying. I be saying all kind of stuff. But I believe in the before clip of this one. I said it was given strapless bra. <laughs> and it was. It was definitely given strapless bra. I don't think it looked absolutely horrible before. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being that looks good, I would give it before like a 5 on a good day on a good day at least for myself and how it fit on me it wasn't like there's no possible way I could have wore it but if I would have worn it like that that's a different story but after <laughs> after I think it's given like I love it I look a lot smaller y'all believe it or not I know it's been like a few weeks almost a few months 
but I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm still trying to get used to my body looking like this. I'm definitely not mad at it. I'm definitely loving the results so far. But, you know, it takes some getting used to. I mean, if you got these big old breasts on your chest for all of these years, majority of your, you know, pubescent years. No, pubescent is not the word. Adolescence. Why did I say pubescent? You have these big disproportionate breasts majority of your adolescent years and you know they just get cut off it's gonna take some time to you know get get used to it but that won't be a problem because the tops are given now the tops are definitely given i do think it would fit even better if this one was a smaller size so i do know that moving forward this one that i have on is a size medium i feel like i would definitely benefit from having a small or maybe even an extra small because it's very 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 stretchy it's all spandex so yeah i mean this one doesn't look bad i would definitely still feel comfortable wearing this one but as you can see it kind of has like a few gaps that i'm like trying to play off but it doesn't look horrible and ultimately i'm very satisfied with how this one looks i already predicted that i was gonna like this one more after and i was right okay y'all so this top right here don't look at the two pieces together this is not how it's style it but i'm just putting these on for trying purposes this is a top this one actually isn't that bad i feel like i'd wear this like before and everything i feel like it's wearable i like it but i feel like it would look better after <laughs> so yeah it's given all over like i said i like it i feel like this is another wearable piece but i feel like it would look better after that's just my prediction i'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like after and of course y'all see what it's looking like but yeah, side note, I love this top. I wish I would've got more wear out of this this summer. This looks 20 times better. Oh my goodness. I am so surprised at how this fits now. Now, in the before clip, as you saw and probably heard, I told y'all, like, before, it didn't look bad on me, I don't think. I definitely think that that was something I could have still pulled off. And it just, you know, it didn't, I don't think that top in particular looked bad beforehand i definitely would have still wore that i was comfortable in it i didn't think you know anything was wrong with it i definitely would have wore it then but after oh my goodness <laughs> this looks so good oh my <laughs> i am so happy with how this looks and this was not a top as i was trying on different pieces before recording my before clips there were certain tops and just outfits in general where i was like yeah i can't wait to see how this fit i can't wait just because in my head i was already predicting that it was going to look way better after this was one of those tops i assumed it would look better after but it wasn't anything I was super excited to see. I didn't expect a bunch from it. This is a huge difference. I don't know if it's just me, but I see a huge difference, like huge. The back is giving that. I mean, I don't have it tied the best. It's just real loose. Around my neck too, it's real loose, real simple. I just needed to try it on for try on purposes. Of course, I would tie that better. I was, well, I don't want to say I was wrong about this top because I never said that it wouldn't look better, but I just kind of like, it was like somewhere in the middle for me. I'm kind of mad that it's about to get cold outside, so I'll probably have to wait a while before I can wear this, but maybe I can slip it in my suitcase for my birthday trip. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now, as y'all can see, I have on my mauve color skim set, one of my faves, OMG. But, as you can see, I've been really finessing this look because this is how I really want to wear it. This is what's most comfortable. Of course, I've tried it on on camera and stuff, and it did not look like this. But that was because I positioned myself in a way to where I could pull it off, and it wasn't all of this side boob and stuff. But that's not the most comfortable way I would want to wear it. I did it like that for try on purposes and because obviously it looked better that way. Comfort would be like the band sitting here for me, meaning that the top part would be here. And this look is just not given. It's just, it's given, it's too little. And of course it's not too little or anything. I mean, look at the back and stuff. It's just the, the girls won't stay. They won't stay. But I have a lot of confidence that 
post-op, I'm gonna look like a completely different person with this same set one. Oh. Y'all, I am so happy with how this fits now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I kinda had an idea of how this would fit prior to coming on here and recording it after because as you guys know, I've done recently a separate skims haul which by the way if you haven't seen that it's on my tiktok and my instagram so make sure you add me on those it's not here on youtube it's over there i kind of had an idea of how this would fit already because i did try on one of these skims plunge bralettes it's the same size and everything this is just a different color so i kind of had an idea i already knew it was gonna fit good yes y'all this looks amazing like wow wow is literally all i can say i'm not trying to be dry or vague but like wow like I'm, I'm seriously shocked and amazed at how different things look obviously I knew they were going to be different but this is like <laughs> whoa <laughs> this is giving this is giving this is definitely gonna be like my go-to lounge look from here on out the skims plunge bralettes and the leggings or even the shorts or the ribs on like any of them i was already a skims girl prior but man this just oh i need me some new skims now this was like one of the few that was like borderline not even borderline it was it was unwearable before my before clip obviously as you guys can tell this was unwearable i played it off for try on purposes when i very first hauled it but let's be real that was unwearable it was just way too much it wasn't even side boob anymore it was literally just spilling out of it and it just wasn't given but now hmm, a bit to differ okay so y'all this just right here i'm super excited to see how it fits post-op i have worn this dress before i definitely think the dress is given pre-op i'm really excited i think i'm gonna like it more not like way way more than pre-op because like i said pre-op i think it's already given especially like the way i wore it when i did wear it. i had like heels on and stuff and i think it came together very nicely but um i definitely think with that reduction it's definitely gonna like kick it up a notch okay y'all when i say i am absolutely obsessed with how this fits now it was already given way before this procedure but after, just like I thought, it's given way more. It was at an eight at first, now it's a 10. Oh my goodness. I mean, from every angle, like the back, front, side, other side, it's just given from every angle. I'm kind of mad I wore this already because it's like now that it fits like this, I want to wear it again. I mean, but then again, I didn't really take pictures, so does it really count? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably sell this again when it get back hot because i need me a pick or two in these like i said the links for all of these items will be in the description box down below this dress is from pretty little thing i want to make a note though if you are going to purchase this dress i am wearing an extra small the dress runs i don't want to say it runs big but you can definitely size down a few sizes in this dress like i said i'm like a regular medium at, at least in the before clip and this is me wearing an extra smile. I knew, I, I knew, I knew it was gonna look even better. I'm almost at a loss for words, honestly, about just how good it looks. Like I'm catching glimpses of myself in the mirror. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. Wow, I, I definitely gotta wear this again. I don't care, I'm, I'm wearing it again. And this time I will be taking pictures. Okay y'all, so this dress, I'm definitely feeling it before. It's definitely passing for the pre-op honestly i don't know why i never wore this i feel like i can definitely wear this if i really wanted to pre-op that is i think post-op is going to be even more flattering that's just my guess who knows i guess we'll have to wait and see i don't really know what to expect from this one i think some of the other items i can kind of guess a little bit better with but i don't know i think this is going to be one of those items where before it was given after it's given it's just given on both ends but we shall see okay so this one what's crazy is i started not to even include this one but i'm glad i did because this one gives a clear difference this dress is one of those ones where 
it definitely wouldn't have looked crazy had I wore it pre-procedure, but after, I don't know if I'm so quick to say, oh, this looks way better after. I definitely think it still looks good. I would say, honestly, for this one, I'd say it's the same, honestly, because nothing really changed between the two fits other than like the fullness in this area. Because as you can see, before and after is still no side boob. Before and after, I'm still not really spilling out of the front. It's not anything too, too much of a forward type of cleavage. I mean, obviously you can see, but it's kind of like, they're just smaller now. For this dress, it just looks like the front is a little less fuller. I think it looked pretty good before and I think it looks pretty good now <laughs> as far as fit goes. I guess I kind of feel the same about this dress now as I did in the before clip. Okay, y'all, this top right here, I feel like, I feel like it can go either way. I definitely feel like this top is wearable as of now, pre-op, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, honestly. I feel like if I really wanted to wear it, I definitely could. But it's just like one of those things like, do I want to wear it? You know? I definitely feel like I can pull this off pre-op. But I do think that it's going to look even better. Oh, stop. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to give. Don't get me wrong. It's giving right now. I mean, like, come on. This is the back. Y'all probably can't see it too well so yeah it's given i definitely feel like i could pull this off right now if i really wanted to but i do think that it's gonna look better after the surgery okay now this one i don't think it's not given anymore obviously as you can see it's super roomy definitely super roomy i'm not filling this out nearly as much as I was before, but I don't think that the top is not given. I feel like the top is just too big now, like way too big to pull off. I got this top in a size, what? Like a size US? This top is a size US 10. I got a US 10 because of course, I needed to make sure that it fit. I would probably need this top in like a size US 6 now, maybe a 4 because it is pretty stretchy and of course you do adjust it. So maybe a six, maybe a four, meaning that this top is now like two, three sizes too big. So it's getting a little harder to pull off, even with it being adjustable. But as we can see, it's definitely a lot more flattering now. At first I was filling it out a lot more, but it's kind of unfair to call it right now because it's just too big. So obviously it's not giving the full look that it would. Like that's me tightening it up tightening it up whoa i don't think it looks horrible i definitely think it just needs to be i just need my size in this but oh my gosh look at that child do y'all see how i would give if this top was my size man <laughs> i don't know if this is a top that i want to wear so bad that i'll buy it again i'll try to play it off as best as i can maybe by the time it's time to wear it again. And if it don't look right, I'll probably just get rid of it. But yeah, it's definitely given after. It was given before, don't get me wrong. I liked it before, but this looks a lot better to me. Okay y'all, so this top right here is another top that I've actually styled on my channel, I believe. No, I believe I've tried it on once and styled it once. So technically you guys may have seen it twice. So this top, as you can see, it's like a halter type of top. And it's definitely wearable as of now. It doesn't look bad at all. I don't think I would definitely be comfortable wearing something like this pre-op. I do think post-op, I'm gonna like it more. That's my prediction. I think I'm gonna like the post-op look for this top more than the pre-op. The pre-op is definitely given though, don't get me wrong. But I do think that I'm gonna like it even more post-op. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so this one is definitely still given. It does need to be in a smaller size now though. I adjusted it the best I could, both around my back and around my neck, to kind of give it a more flattering appeal to it. But I definitely could benefit from sizing down in this now. This top is like a US 10, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure it's a US 10. And kind of like what I was saying about that other top earlier in the video, I can adjust it, of course and pull it off if need be. Like if I really had to wear it like this, I could. It doesn't look crazy, but I would definitely benefit from having something that was 
a little bit of a smaller size. Also kind of like what I was saying about that red top, I think it's a little bit unfair to say, oh, this one is giving more, that one was giving more, because this one after doesn't fit correctly. I definitely look smaller in it. <laughs> it's definitely making my stomach not look bigger, but you know, proportions. So now it looks like it sticks out a little bit more than it used to. But yeah, do y'all see like the room in here? That's the only part I'm kind of not passing with. It's not anything huge, of course. You know, it's not a huge deal. If I really had to wear it, I could. But other than that, I would definitely want to size down to something like this. And it's just a regular halter on the back. It just ties around your neck and it wraps around your back like so. It definitely makes me look smaller now. Like, I feel like in a lot of these clips, it looks like I've had like a, a major weight loss or something. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this one. I think it gives, but I would definitely want to go down maybe a size or two. Okay, y'all, so this top right here, this is actually the first bodysuit I've done. And I purposely picked this one because I always loved how this one felt and how it feels on my skin and how it looks in outfits and stuff, but I never liked the side boob of it. This is me wearing it without a bra, and as you can see, it's definitely not giving lift. It's definitely given you need to put a bra on. It's like when I put a bra on, it shows like all right here, all up here, and I have to constantly pull and try to cover it up, and it just doesn't give. So I know without a doubt that this top, is gonna look a lot better post-op. Okay, y'all, so as we can see, this is a lot more flattering. <laughs> this one looks a lot better. As you can see, it definitely doesn't give the same you need to put a bra on type of look. When I tell y'all I love these Zara bodysuits, oh my goodness. So I'm so glad they fit on me like this now. But yeah, I hadn't put any bodysuits in this video, so I definitely want to switch it up a little bit. Everything was like halters and tank tops. Those are the type of pieces I definitely wanted to put most of in this video. But I also want to switch it up a little bit and show even how some of the more simpler tops, more everyday type of tops, could even look a lot different. I definitely think that this one is given a lot more after. <laughs> And obviously, once again, I wouldn't style it like this, but the shorts are for try-on purposes. And this is what I had on in the before clip, so I wanted to keep the same thing going. I'm a little bit OCD like that, so yeah, y'all gonna keep getting these shorts. So that is all for this video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video as a whole and just any other comments you guys may have. And yeah, just let me hear you guys' feedback. I definitely want to be more interactive with you all in the comments. Definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see another part two. Be sure if you're not subscribed already, you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a new video. Once again, be sure to add me on my other socials. They'll be back on the screen. They'll be in the intro and the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.